What's up everybody, my name is Brad with Brad Edwards Photography, and today I'm bringing you a rather unexpected YouTube video. I was definitely not planning on making this video when I woke up today. My studio is not anywhere close to being finished, but I'm super excited because I somehow lucked into getting my hands on this bad boy. This is the new Sigma 7200 f2.8 dg os hsm sport lens pretty much every online retailer is out their pre-order status back ordered something along those lines i would just been on every wait list wanting to get this lens i've already got uh, a couple other sigma lenses absolutely love them uh, the art series and i just happened to call my local brick and mortar store on a whim this morning and lo and behold they happen to have one lens in stock that they got delivered yesterday so here we are. So, I haven't even had this bad boy out of the box yet. Let's take a look, let's see what's included. There's my receipt. Some bubble wrap, some documentation. A uh, pretty typical Sigma case. Here is a package of something. Allen wrenches and screws. And a strap for the case. It's definitely not a lightweight lens. So typical Sigma case, nice padding. Uh, actually has a hard kind of a foam top to it. Pretty nice solid foam padding um, here on the top part of the lens, which is awesome because it helps uh, with any impact that might go on the top. Uh, there is also another piece of foam here uh, around what looks like the mount. There she is. It's beautiful. The build quality feels very, very much like you would expect in the new series of Sigma lenses. It's got a magnesium body. It actually has a little bit of texture on the outside. It's not just a smooth, smooth finish. Uh, my 85 1.4 Sigma uh, art lens has a much smoother, almost metallic feeling to it. Whereas this has a, don't even know how to explain it. I don't want to say plastic because it's definitely not plastic, but you can maybe see in the light here. It's got some texture to it. Definitely feel the weight of it. So that's obviously a great thing. It does come with a tripod ring already on it. It's got an Arca Swiss style tripod foot, so that can go straight onto a tripod, which is great without having to put an adapter if you don't want to. The ring, let's see, the tripod ring, that just loosens off. The tripod ring turns, oh, this is awesome. So I've had the first two versions of the Canon 7200 um, and getting the tripod ring perfectly centered was always a pain in the butt, sort of. Not a pain in the butt, but you know, you gotta just kind of double check it, make sure you're lined up perfectly. This one actually has, you can hear it. It's got clicks at each 90 degree. Oh, I love that. Love it already. It does have a couple of different autofocus modes. Got manual, auto, and manual override. Um, You've got your distance or your limiter, um, focus limiter on it. You've also got multiple um, stabilization modes. You've got your typical, you've also got a panning option in there. So if you're doing some sports or uh, anything with some maybe side to side motion, you can do your panning shots. And then it's also got the custom features, which I'm not aware of. My, uh, my 85 and my 20 don't have those options on them. So I am excited to pop in there, get it on the USB dock and see what kind of options are available um, as far as the actual custom modes, because I am not familiar with that part. So you've got there, top, side, and underneath um, focus stops. Um, I believe you can program those to have different functions if you'd like to. So if you're shooting sports or something along those lines, you can hold down your servo motor 
um, and you can actually stop focus by pressing these buttons um, instead of letting up on the servo motor with your thumb. The zoom ring feels really, really nice, but it is, that's a tight zoom ring. Very tight zoom ring. Um, definitely would need, definitely need, you know, the whole hand to turn that ring. Uh, I don't see a case of nudging it much with a thumb. Um, you can do it, but man, that is a tight focus ring. I don't know if I really like that or not, but uh, I suppose it'll break in a bit over time. Um, but it definitely feels solid, that's for sure. Um, the focus ring is also very, very solid. Hood does come included, which is awesome. It looks like the hood does have a push button re uh, release on it, so that's cool. Um, okay, what am I doing? Oh, okay, there we go. Photo Joseph is talking to me in the background, apparently. Okay, that wasn't as hard as that needed to be. There is a lock on the hood, which I, I really appreciate. Uh, the hood actually has some notches on it, you can kind of see, just to make it, I guess, easier to, to grip. That's nice. It's plastic hood, not metal. Feels good. For anybody wondering, when you're putting this thing on, if you can't figure it out like me, there you go. You put it on with the words and out. Put that with that, line that up on top. Don't line up the dash. There's a dash on top. There's a dash on the hood. You would think you would line that up to get it going. Not the case. Line up the in out. Put it on, twist, done, easy. Standard pinch style cap. First impression, extremely high build quality just like I would expect out of any of the, the new Sigma line. Um, very good feeling in the hand, if not almost, almost too big, but not quite, but not quite there. Let's get this bad boy mounted up on a camera real fast and just see how it performs. All right, so we've got this mounted up to the trusty 6D. This is the Mark One, not Mark Two. So we'll give it a quick run down here and see how it looks. Hmm. Stabilizer definitely feels different than it does in my Canons. The Canons I'm used to that sort of gyroscope uh, sound and almost feel. Uh, I can't feel the stabilizer in this one. The image in the screen with Canon tends to pretty kind of float ever so slowly. Um, this screen, uh, it's almost like it stays exactly in place and then it jumps to like the next place um, and then stays there. It's not much of, it's not a fluid motion um, like it is with the Canon, um, but still good. It's still, I'm just kind of poking out my window here. Um, the focusing motor seems fine. The stabilizer, though, definitely is audible. Let's see if you can hear it. That's it, engaging and disengaging. So for video purposes, I don't know, I don't know how, uh, I don't know how much that will come into effect, but I don't love that. I don't do a ton of uh, general purpose video. The most of the video stuff I'm gonna be doing is gonna be stuff like this. Hmm, yeah, that's more just a nitpick than anything. Uh, but with that said, the stabilizer, it's effective, it works well. The 
lens collar or the tripod collar is rather annoying for hand holding. With the Canon, it sits low enough profile where I can hold it in my hand and still feel like I can function well with the camera. In this particular case, uh, I definitely, this is definitely a bigger chunk of metal than what you're getting with the Canon one. However, I think if I just crank this guy over to this position and just put it sort of on the side, I think that's actually kind of nice because I have like another, I kind of have another grip point on the lens, but with the zoom ring being on the front rather than the middle, I really don't know. I think most of my hand holding is gonna be at the front of the lens anyhow. The focus speed seems pretty quick. Um, I'm not in the best environment shooting out a window through blinds. Even if this is the fastest the lens goes, it's fine. Uh, I definitely don't think it's quite as snappy as the Canon. So I think what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna post another video, hopefully tomorrow or very soon, comparing this thing side by side with the Mark III Canon 7200-2.8 and just see how it compares. Uh, the image quality, I can tell just from the couple of snaps that I have taken, uh, the image quality is outstanding. It looks great, the bokeh looks great. Um, it's everything I could want and as far as image quality goes. I think it's gonna perform very, very well uh, up next to the Canon as far as actual image quality. The only thing I know is that Sigmas tend to be a little softer in the corners uh, than the Canons, so we'll see. I typically crop a little anyway. I rarely present the entire frame that I shoot. So, you know, if I get a little corner softness or something like that, it's not typically a big deal with me. Um, but we'll see. Most importantly, I just wanted to show you guys what was in the box, get you a, kind of a feel of how it looks on the camera. It looks amazing. Overall though, first impression, great lens. It comes in right now at $14.99. Uh, which is $600 less than the Canon version and significantly less than the Nikon version. All right, so we'll be back with you hopefully really soon with a side-by-side -side comparison um, of the Canon 7200 Mark III. I'll use them both on the same 60 Mark I uh, just to get you know similar autofocus speeds, make sure that all things are even as far as autofocus and things like that go. So thanks for watching and join me in the next one.